The beautiful and unique Century Link Field is the home for this afternoon's matchup between the San Francisco 49ers and the Seattle Seahawks. Well, Phil, we've got a terrific matchup at running back. Two of the most dangerous backs in the NFL about to meet, go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. How do you see it? Well, you know what? It's not always about the quarterback when you talk about NFL games. And, and here's a great example of it today. Uh, the game of football is still about the most physical team wins. And when you have running backs like this, the more physical team will win. Percy Harvin will be returning this one. And they're all over him at the 18-yard line. Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield. Wilson's going to take it from the gun. He caught it. Nothing like a receiver who can just put his head down and go after the football. That's what he did that time. Nice throw by the quarterback. Watch the receiver at the last second looks up and makes the catch. The Seahawks lined up in the pistol, running to the left side. the touchdown there is nothing like getting a long running play for a touchdown when you do you just feel like you're stealing something it takes good blocks but most importantly it takes a talented running back to get it done and this team definitely has it. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff Tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. Frank Gore is in the backfield. Tight end in motion. First and ten, Gore. Muscles through the defender. I know they want to come out and establish the run, but boy, this defense right now is not bending. Well, uh, they're doing a good job so far, the defense, but on the offensive side, stay patient, keep pounding that football, and hopefully you can wear this defense down as the game goes along. Down and eight. Kaepernick play action. Wide open for the catch. Well, if you want to be a good play action pass team, it's always nice to have a good running game. Make the defense dig in and try to stop your run. When they do that, you fool them. You fake it. You throw it down the field. That that's that's about as easy as it gets. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Makes the catch. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. So with that play, they move into enemy territory and driving here early stages. Well, look, I I'm going to blame the defense. They're being so passive. you got to go out there and take some chances. If you don't, this offense is going to keep marching down the field. Frank Gore is in the backfield. First and 10, they'll go ground, middle. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run.
Davis is a tight end, but now shifted into the backfield. Second and six, challenging the defenders to the right side. The tackle's going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. What a nice catch by the receiver. Getting past the yard markers, makes the catch, and gets the first down. That reception gave them the first down. Into the open flat. And that's a gain of maybe five. I think the best thing to say about that play, it's just a, it gained a few yards, so that's what you do. All plays don't score. Sometimes you just want to pick up a couple yards. It's a second and five here. Frank Gore gets it here. Picks up six. An off-tackle run, it's a staple of all offenses in the NFL. And a general rule is you run off the right tackle because he is the power tackle where the left tackle is the pass blocker. Kaepernick's got it in the gun. Throwing now to his left. And for about six. Good play call that time by the offensive coordinator. Down inside when you're inside that 20-yard line or the red zone, find ways to complete the pass. They did that time. And the give to Frank Gore. Gains 11. Jim, the defense gives up the first down that time inside the red zone, but there's only so many things the offense can do. Let's see if they can hold them. A bounce to snap it for the ninth play of the drive. And he's in for the touchdown. I would bet first and goal that the offense about 90% of the time is going to run the football. And what do they do here? They run it and they get it done. That is power football at its best. And the extra point is good. <laughs> 49ers setting up for the kickoff. Percy Harvin gets the chance to return this kickoff. And they're all over him at the 18-yard line. Lined up in the pistol formation. The quarterback will hand it off to the right side. It's Navarro Bowman in on the play. When you run off tackle, one of the things you're looking for is for your tackle to make a good block, and then if you have a lead fullback, can he get past him and block the linebacker to free up the halfback so he can go in between them and get in the secondary and make a big play. Well, I know it's not going to make a highlight film, but still a good solid run up in there for a couple yards. Setting up in the pistol on this play. Down and two. The pass falls incomplete, and they fail to pick up a first down on this series. Russell Wilson has it under center. This is going to set up a change of possession. The offensive coordinators just got to make some adjustments here. They can't stop the defensive line from sacking the quarterback, so either keep the tight end in or keep the halfback in to help block for the QB. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. down and 10. Gore's got it on the handoff. You cannot let offensive players get up the sideline in the NFL. That's where a lot of big plays are made. The defensive end that time, well, he was on the end, and he stopped that run for very little gain. They break through. Tackle him behind the line. That was just a dumb ball. When you throw it behind the line of scrimmage like that, you deserve to lose some yards. That's what happened on that play. Baldwin's in the slot. shotgun formation looking to the right side and throwing and 
intercepted. Good job that time by the defense. Not being fooled, being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did, they got the interception. First down on the way. Lynch running to the right. Has some space to work with. Lynch with an impressive run. A lot of ways to get plays in the NFL. It doesn't always have to be by a pass. Good job that time by the running back. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Working that left side. Pass complete. Oh, we've got an injured player on the field. Well, after watching that play, I think it's safe to say it's a lower body injury. Not sure exactly what it is, but I hope the player's okay. The Seahawks line up in the pistol offense. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Picks up the first and still has some room to run. Well, the defensive coach is going to be upset after this play. After that long run, terrible angles and really just a lack of hustle by the defense gives up the long run. First and ten. Here's the handoff. The Marsh coughed up the football. Oh, they cough up the football, and the defense takes possession. Well, that time the offense fumbles the football, but the defense hit them so hard, uh, there's no chance of hanging on. Hits the ground, and the defense recovers. The 49ers in the pistol. First and ten. Eyeing that left side. The 49ers now move the chain. Quarterbacks love play action passes because the defense, sometimes they're expecting run. You fake it, easy completion down the field. They've got a first down now after that catch. Looking to go up top again on first down. Gets away from the pressure. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Incomplete. <laughs> After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. To the right side. And he's going to be tackled right around the 37. That was a running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. Third down and three. He's looking to the right here on this throw. And he's going to be tackled. And that's going to bring us to fourth down. Well, that's the new NFL. Just keep throwing it behind the line of scrimmage and see if the athletes can catch it and make some yards. None there that time. A loss of a couple yards. Colin Kaepernick from the shotgun. Throws to the right. Failed to pick up the first down, and they'll give the ball back to the other side. Well, that four plays and out for the offense, and that was bad. Bad play calling, bad play, bad execution. Go to the bench and try to rethink what you're doing. First and ten, Marshawn Lynch takes the football. Here's the quick toss. The ball is jarred loose. They bring him to the turf. That was just a terrible job by the offensive player that time. Protect the football. No excuse for letting it uh, fumble the football in a situation like that. First down coming up. Trying to find an opening to the right. And it's Earl Thomas who brought him down that time. Colin Kaepernick has one of the biggest arms in the NFL and is definitely one of the most explosive quarterbacks when it comes to running the football. That was a nice job of keeping it and picking up some good yards. First down here after the run. Leading on that running attack and falls out. They recover their own fumble. The 49ers will take a second here to talk things over as they call a timeout on second down. This will be second down. Play action. 
challenging the defense. The pass is intercepted. He's brought to a halt. His defensive coordinator, he is one aggressive dude. He keeps going after this offense, and finally he gets the interception inside uh, their own 20-yard line and stops the offense from getting any points. Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield. They pounce on him there. After that long run, that running back deserves a break. Go over to the sideline, let a few guys pat you on the rear end and tell you how good you are, and then get a little oxygen and get back in the game. What a run. Flag is out, first and 10. Looking for Percy Harvin. It's incomplete. The defender had it for a moment, but could not pick it off cleanly. Defense was trying to guess the snap count, and it cost them there. First down following the penalty. Lynch is handed the football. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Second down following the run. He'll fire it out to the left. Russell Wilson connects with Golden Tate. Well, that's a nice throw and catch by the quarterback and receiver. Puts them in good position where they have a chance to pick up this third down. Third and two. Looking to the right side and throwing. Oh, we got us a nice drive going here, Jim. Another first down. They are just making one solid play after another and just marching down the field. And we've reached the two-minute warning. Approach this play from out of the pistol. Goes to the left, and they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. Second and three. He gets it again on this drive. They run right. And that's a gain of 10. Well, that was a nice run that time off tackle. And listen, this is a bread and butter play in the NFL. It's about power running. Can your offensive tackle make the block to free up that running back so he has a chance to get that secondary and make a nice run out of it? Reaches out and grabs it. Good job by the receiver that time. Getting that extra couple yards, gets a first down. They are marching. Let's see how the defense reacts. Long game sets them up here on this play. Makes the catch. Touchdown. Nice throw by the quarterback that time. Put it right on the money. Not a big window. It doesn't matter to him today. Great control of the football. Put it right in there for the touchdown. Seahawks ready here for the kickoff. Tackles made right around the 26-yard line. <laughs> McDonald's moved from the tight end position to the slot. They tackle him for a loss. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense at time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. That leads us to second down. Drop back, shotgun formation. He'll fire it out to the left. Kaepernick gets it to Vernon Davis. 
Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. Well, Jim, I know his family's watching, so we'll give all the information we can as soon as we get it, but it looks like it could be a major injury, and I just, well, I hope the best. They load it up now, bring out the jumbo formation. Now slashing to the right side, looking for room. He stacked up at that point. Well, the quarterback gets out of the pocket and picks up yards. I mean, now listen, the defensive coordinator has got to put an extra defender in there and spy on him. So in other words, when the quarterback steps up the run, you have a guy waiting for him, make the tackle before he can pick up yards. He's in the clear. The 10. What an effort and a touchdown. Good job by the offense. They get in there. They tie this game up. Now we'll see if the defense can take advantage of that momentum and keep it on their side. The 49ers lined up now for the point after. Makes the PAT. The Seahawks are in shape now to return the kick. Percy Harvin will be returning this one. And they're all over him at the 18-yard line. Lynch is a running back normally, but this time lined up as a receiver in the slot. He's brought down at the 23-yard line. Ready for intermission. First, one more play. Second down, four to go. Ball's on the ground. A recovery by the defense. Great job by the defense, forcing and recovering the fumble. You said the appropriate word there, forcing. The hit was so solid and so good. The offensive player had no, he had no choice. He had to give up the football. So that's it for the second quarter. Halftime is coming up. We'll have a little first half analysis as we continue on EA Sports after this. We're back here now in this one where the 49ers lead by three. They crash into him, ending the return at the 20-yard line. First down, offense ready for the snap. The third quarter begins with this play. The 49ers get a first down. That's a nice play that time by the offense, getting the first down. They're up here in the second half, and they're moving the football. That is a great feeling. Colin Kaepernick under center. First and ten. Staying with the running game on first down. Loading up with extra defensive backs into dime. Second and six. Quarterback drops back. Play action. On the run. Got the first, and he's got some space. When you're on the defensive side, you just cannot lose containment even on a quarterback. That time they pressure him in the pocket. He takes out. There's no containment on the outside. He gets out there. Nobody open to throw it to. So he just picks up some big yards running the ball. Lined up in the pistol formation. First and ten. They feed the running back. Second down coming up. Tight ends in motion here. Staying on the ground. And tackled down at the 49-yard line. 
The outside linebacker that time just did his job very well and gets in there and makes the tackle for very little gain. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. This is a screen play all the way. A tackle that had to be made, and that'll set up fourth down. They're in punting formation. That ball was never cleanly caught, and it's on the ground. Oh, that was close, wasn't it? The return team, they don't block anybody, but very fortunate to recover their own fumble. Nickel formation here for the defense. They run the counter play. They knock them down behind the line of scrimmage. So many things you can do on first down, and what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. The defense comes out of the nickel, going across the middle. Reed is there and makes the play. When you're behind in the football game, all you can do on the offensive side is just go out there and thinking about making plays and picking up first downs, good job by the offense. Now, cutting to the right side, looking for some open space. In this defense, they are tough. When you run that football, they got some men up front. And that time they stopped that run just for a short game. Halfway through the third quarter, looks to his left. He had no time to get set. Well, that pass is incomplete, Jim, but that's just a terrible job by the quarterback. When they're running the slant route, just throw it right at their stomach. Russell Wilson has it under center. Third down and seven. Looking for an open receiver on the right. This offense can't be stopped on third down, no matter the distance. Uh, there's nothing the defense can do. When you talk about a receiver like these guys out there now, and, and this one in particular, the double coverage, they're still able to go in between the defenders, rise up, and make the catch. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. Well, that's going to hurt him tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. When you get hit like that, you're going to feel some of that pain tomorrow. But the good news is, I think he's going to be okay. Once he gets a little um, uh, situated there, I think he'll be back in the game. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. Good job by the offense getting in the red zone. Now you're down some points. you got to find a way to score a touchdown. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Wilson from the shotgun. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Caught it, but his feet are out of bounds. Terrible throw by the quarterback. Terrible route by the wide receiver. Oh, wow, what a shock. The football was incomplete. This drive now about to reach the 10th play of the series. Wilson's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Unable to bring it in. This will be the 11th play of the drive. Third and 10. Throws to the right. And he's almost intercepted. That was a big hit by the defender that time. The receiver drops the football. I'll tell you what, I guarantee the next time he goes over the middle, he'll be looking for that defender. It's a two tight end formation. What a catch. Touchdown. Nowadays, so many kids, they grow up, they want to be wide receivers. I don't blame them. They're out there, they get to catch the football, they get to score touchdowns, they get to do dances, and you're not really allowed to hit them either. What a job. The throw to the left. Good and addition. Two points on the board as they convert. The 49ers in kickoff return formation.
they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has an injury update. Let's get the injury report from Danielle Bellini. Guys, I just spoke with a 49ers official. He confirmed it was a neck injury. The team is taking this very seriously, so they've immobilized his neck. And guys, they'll take him to the hospital for further observation. McDonald's playing out of position in the backfield here. They're setting up screen. Caught. Brought down just two yards shy of the first down marker. Well, when you keep chipping away with these short throws, sooner or later, that defense is going to come up. And when they come up, that's when you throw it over the top. Here comes the wide receiver in motion. Second down and two. Here's the handoff, running off tackle. The tackle is made at the 40-yard line. Boy, after watching that long run, I'm winded. That was a nice job by the running back. Good job up front, sustaining the blocks. Offense got to be happy with that. Under fire on that throw. Hard to complete a throw when you got defensive linemen up there making sure that the pass never gets past the line of scrimmage. Yeah, the quarterback's got to do a good job of sensing it and seeing it, but also the offensive linemen stay engaged with the defensive players. When you're engaged, it's hard for them to jump up and knock these throws down. Challenging the defenders to the right side. That pass is complete. Anytime your receiver running any route to the inside in the NFL, they're worried about getting hit. Don't lead them too far in a slant route. Just throw it right at them. Kendall Hunter is in the backfield. Third and ten. Looking to the right side and throwing. The 49ers now move the chains. Well, when you talk about throwing these sideline routes or the out route, it is about timing. When that receiver makes that break to go towards the sideline, that football has to be in the air. Nice throw and catch that time. First down here after the completion. Kaepernick standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. The 49ers get a first down. This is turning into quite a drive, Phil. Uh, nice job, Jim, by the offensive coordinator just mixing the plays up and keeping the defense off balance. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. for an open receiver on the right. Well, when you play this cover, cover four. In other words, you've got four defenders playing deep, equally spread across the field. Well, who's going to cover the in cuts and underneath? Nobody. That's why the quarterback got an easy completion that time on the in route. Defense comes out of the dime. Second and five, handoff. He's going to be swallowed up behind the line. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. We'll be back to the beautiful skyline of Seattle for the start of the fourth after the break. Kendall Hunter is in the backfield. Here is the first snap of the final quarter. Trying to work that left side. That reception picks up the first down. The best way to keep the other offense uh, on the sidelines is just keep marching down the field and picking up those first downs. What a good job by the offense. They send the tight end in motion. First and ten, the handoff, running behind the tackle. Now the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. Marching down the field and taking their time. Kaepernick's back in shotgun formation. And they sack the quarterback. This defense is awesome in blitzing. That time they blitz, they get the sack on the quarterback. They time the snap count perfectly and catch the offense by surprise. Offense heading to the line for the 11th play of the drive. Running away from the pressure. He's got some daylight. 
the tackle was made short of the first, and that'll bring up fourth down. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. They'll take that gift from the defense and line up now with a new set of downs. They give it to the back, and he's running off tackle. Game of six. Some good play calls so far in this drive by the offensive coordinator. His team is down, but they are marching down the field. What a drive this has been. Well, Michael James. Good piece of tackling. The offense is so close right here. They just need to show a little power and punch this in the end zone and get that touchdown. This has been a long drive so far. Force it and Ross for the touchdown. Nice job up front by the offensive line. They get a good push. Easy for the quarterback to run the sneak and get the touchdown score. The 49ers for the extra point. We've got a flag down here. No, it's not. It's a fake. So they give up the touchdown, but they do not allow the two-point play. Yeah, good job that time by the defense. So quick and so ready for that play. They reacted very fast. That's why they stopped it. into an eight-point trip, the touchdown and the two. This offense and the head coach and the offensive coordinator, they're all aggressive. So, hey, well, it's not good enough just to get a touchdown. They want to get that extra point or two points. Nice job that time. Just across the 20 and tackled at the 21. Now in first down. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. Gets to about the 36. Sometimes it's good protection by the offensive line, and sometimes it's just bad defense. They can't get to the quarterback, and that's another completion by him. They'll run it. Here's the handoff. He's going to the left. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets him a few yards. Time is running out here in the fourth, and the defense is trying to preserve this win. Second down and six, throwing now to his left. Good job that time by the secondary. They're in good position. They make the play, and it's an incomplete pass by the quarterback. Time is beginning to fade, but the quarterback knows his team still has interception. And he's brought to the ground. I, well, I have to say, that's just a terrible decision by the quarterback there. He's got to know when you're in a situation like this, you just cannot make that type of pass. That was the clock is winding down. The offense would like to just run it out. Now, makes the move to the right. And 
last play before the two-minute warning. Second and seven, trying to get it outside before the defense is set. Two-minute warning. Danielle's got an injury update for us. Let's go to her now. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has the injury update. Guys, I had a chance to speak with a 49ers team official. Carlos Rogers' injury seems to be relatively minor, or at least it's minor enough that he'll be back on the field shortly. Colin Kaepernick, under center. Third down and eight, play action. Antoine Bolden with the catch. That's what you got to do as a receiver in the NFL now. How about this play? He goes up high, makes the catch, takes the big hit, and holds on. That reception gave them the first down. set up here. Just had to avoid the sack. Incomplete. <laughs> Failing to complete that one. So, second down here. Here's the running play. Off tackle. Good job of getting this football down in the red zone. The lead, very small. Got to be smart in how you dial up these plays from here. First down, following the long play. Another handoff. That's a gain of six. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. Second down coming up. Michael James gets the carry. Touchdown! What a run! Well, Jim, with that touchdown this late in the game, that ices it. And if you could sing, you could, uh, I'd let you say it's turn out the lights, but we know you can't sing. So the game is over. It's good. 49ers setting up for the kickoff. And he's across the 10, and that's about it. He's tackled at the 15-yard line. Miracles do happen, but this team's going to need one probably to pull this off. They're going to get him this time. The Seahawks are going to use one of the two timeouts they have remaining. Lynch is out in the slot. Up the middle. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down, and he's in pain. Well, that's going to hurt him tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. When you get hit like that, you're going to feel some of that pain tomorrow. But the good news is I think he's going to be okay. And once he gets a little um, uh, situated there, I think he'll be back in the game. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long. They can do just about anything, and it's going to work and they stopped the offense that time. At that counter, and that gets the first down. I like this play call this time. They go for it on fourth and short, and they call the right play, and they pick up the first down. McCoy's in the slot receiver role for this upcoming snap. Now first and 10. Running right through the trenches. Here's the quick toss. Good job on the ground there by Lynch. That's one of those plays, if it doesn't work, Everybody's going to get on the offensive coordinator for running the football there late in the game when they're behind. 
but he caught the defense off guard. It was a good risk by them and a good game. But it falls incomplete. That's going to do it here in this one. All right, Phil, before we go, tell me about the atmosphere down in that winning locker room.